Although inflation has slowed in the month of August, a possible increase in subsidized fuel prices could result in much higher inflation for the rest of this year. Although no confirmations have been made, high-ranking Indonesian government officials have been hinting at a possible increase in subsidized fuel prices as government spending on fuel subsidies are putting a heavy burden on the state budget. The Indonesian government is spending 502 trillion rupiah on subsidizing fuel prices. That marks a sizable increase from the initial allocation of 152 trillion rupiah at the start of the year. Due to the rise of global oil prices, the government has had to allocate an additional 349 trillion rupiah for fuel subsidies. A number of high-ranking Indonesian government officials, including President Joko Widodo himself, has stated that the burden on the state budget is too high, hinting at a possible increase in subsidized fuel prices. But according to a number of Indonesian economists, if subsidized fuel prices are increased, inflation in Indonesia could surge to 7.5% by the end of the year, as fuel prices highs will also lead to a rise in food prices as well. So let's assume that uh, from the Pertalite, if we increase to like 6,000, uh, 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 sorry, 9,650, uh, inflation will be increased by 0.7 percentage point. Uh, and then if we increase uh, diesel uh, from now, like uh, increase by 3,000, so for instance, from 5,000 to 8,000 right now, uh, the impact on inflation will be like 0.29%. So I think that's the, the, the estimate. And also it might impact on the economic growth as well. Jika inflasinya sekarang sudah tinggi dan ditambah dengan kenaikan harga 30% untuk pertalite maupun solar dan dilakukan secara bersamaan, mungkin secara year on year estimasi inflasinya bisa 7 sampai 7,5% di akhir tahun. Karena imbasnya kita tidak lihat hanya pada inflasi energi, tapi juga inflasi bahan makanan atau volatile.